Hey y'all, and welcome to the February 2019 Fiber of the Month Club Box unboxing for Paradise Fibers. I want to do my quick disclaimer before I go into the what is this month a live unboxing of me opening this. Well, live as in the time it was recorded. But anyways, guys. I am not affiliated with Paradise Fibers. This means, unlike a couple other channels that do the unboxing videos, I do pay for these boxes all on my own. And the only thing that I have is I have a referral link, which anyone with a Paradise Fibers account has access to their own referral link. And so therefore, if you decide that you would like to either get your own Paradise Fibers box, or if you just want fibers, as I'll, you might hear me mention at my end of the video notes and wrap up. Uh, you can just go to their site. I believe, if I remember correctly, it will give you a pop-up with the coupon code. And you have to spend a certain amount of money, I think, to use the coupon. And then that would give me a certain amount of Paradise points back. I want to say it was like a $5 voucher. Uh, but that's just me going off memory. And that's, that's the only kind of, I guess, affiliation that I have with promoting these boxes. I just like to share with you what I get each month and, yeah, the fun of the mystery boxes. Anyways, let's get on to this month's box. One more thing before I get started that I forgot about. I let my husband record and I passed him the paper so that the, you know special information that's only for the subscribers to the box wasn't shown. I don't think it was, but just in case, if anyone sees anything that shouldn't be allowed, you know, please let me know. I'll take down this video and uh, edit out those parts where he actually showed the paper on the screen, but I noticed he kind of just scanned it. So I think we're good on it, not including any special codes or anything, but just in case, just let me know if there's something wrong with the video and there's information on there that shouldn't be shared with the general public. We want, we want the boss. Good. Hey guys, welcome to the February Fiber of the Month Club unboxing for Paradise Fibers. My husband is recording today, so you get a different angle than usual and maybe less screaming from the kids because they are currently in their high chairs having dinner, <laughs> at least a little too. But I have seen the spoiler, and it was Egyptian themed, which is actually a really good theme for us. Ooh. I can smell when I open it. I know there's supposed to be inside, but I think that's what fell. I don't see it. Okay, where's my paper? Oh, there it is. It's taped, it the, it's taped to the top. Of the box. Is there one on the top? <coughs> oh, that's where the incense is. <laughs> Good job, Daddy. Mm. My case is on the inside, though. Usually it's on the outside. Hey, Daddy. Four ounce natural undyed sock blend in white muslin bag, targi wool top, yeah. viscose bamboo, and tussa silk. 80 10 10. You guys want that? Because the person I watched said something about dyeing that and how it would come up nice differently because the silk and the bamboo will come up. Differently. You could leave the target, you, will too. you could leave it that way and make a George Washington wig. <laughs> Baby, do you want to be George Washington? Okay. And then Zane, here's the part you want. I get it out. 
Or a little baggie of the goodies. Oh, there's a magnet. Oh, that was on there. Let's go that way. It's upside down. What's the magnet of? It's a sheep and an Egyptian headdress. Hey! That goes on the fridge! You want Ba? <laughs> ba go on the fridge. This is what Zane wants. We get our unit sticker. Zane, is that yours? <laughs> <laughs> Zane likes the boss. And I believe there was tea, which Daddy will like. Mm -hmm. Egyptian chamomile. Love to. Make a big cup and maybe we can share it. <coughs> and we, these are stitch markers. Dad. I don't know what they were though. Dad. 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 Two of them. Handmade Egyptian gemstone stitch oh, markers. It was and something. Amethyst. My birthstone. Yeah. So now I have a better thing than the jack-o'-lantern for your projects. Yay. <laughs> <coughs> Although I think these are just, um, these are just knitting ones. They're not, um, oops. There's wire. They're not, um, progress keepers. What? And then, what was our other fibers, Daddy? There was two ounces total. It's a mystery. <laughs> and they're in color coordinating bags. Visco bamboo top and satin bag of a corresponding color. Ooh, I like the bamboo. You I got... Pain in the butt to spin, but I that's what I used in that, in my <laughs> China Sea. Heliotrope is the purple. And spring green is apparently the green. It just says spring green. Babies, you like those? <laughs> and I think that is it for the goodies in this month's box. And well, I was saying that this box for us is super uh, timed correctly is we just spent a week at Universal Studios well four days but roughly a week <laughs> and the kids favorite ride is Return of the Mummy that was something. called Mummy Returns something, something like, like that, that. No. The, it's the, the mummy, mummy ride <laughs> um, and we got to ride that like three times in a row uh, straight just back and forth because there was it said there was a 15 minute line, but it was walk through, wait 10 seconds, and be told which car to, or what line to stand in. I thought the Egyptian theme, this, this particular box is going to remind me of our vacation that we just had. But anyways guys, that is all for uh, this month's box and I still have to get up January's box. I never did <laughs> get that up. But anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, and now time for the wrap up. Uh, <laughs> I was rewatching this in editing and realized that the sock yarn that I found, or sock fiber <laughs> that I found on their website, does not appear to be the same fiber as I found, or that is in the box, because. The one that I found is a merino bamboo silk, and the one on, or in the this month's box is a Targi. So I don't know if Targi wool is typically way more expensive. Usually, I think people think of merino wool as being the more expensive of the wool since it's supposed to be a softer. I think Targi is supposed to be a harder wearing, uh, from my understanding. 
but the merino bamboo silk for four ounces that I found was $17. So I can't imagine that the Targi would be much more than $20, but I did need to re-edit this section because all my numbers were based on that $17 mark. And we'll just go ahead and say somewhere around $20 is probably what this blend is worth and go on from there because yeah. Uh, pays to actually edit and pay attention <laughs> because it was not the same fiber as I was describing. Although I do believe the bamboo is exactly the fiber that I've bought before, which is $9.50 for four ounces. And we are only getting two ounces in this box. So roughly, what did that come out to? $4.75 or something. So let's say that the total price of the box is approximately a value of $25. This box, even though I do love the theme and it really hit home for, for this household this month and will be special to me because of that, the uh, price point that I like to see these fibers come out to is more around the $30 mark. I know that shipping does you know, cost money and such, but seeing as this is the fiber provider, I assume that they are getting things at wholesale cost and not selling to me at wholesale cost. So I would hope that at least in future months that some of these values are a little up. I don't see why they didn't just send us four ounces of bamboo because I think that would have really equaled out the price point that I was looking for that I did not get with the fiber that they have sent this month, even though overall I love my boxes and I don't want to under stress that enough. I think sometimes I get a little hard on Paradise Fibers, but I think with these surprise subscription boxes, people do expect to get their value in the actual fiber product that they are receiving. And I do think that sometimes like this month, Paradise Fibers does fall a little short because I think you could buy at least when they get the items up, I think you could buy these fibers by themselves and not spend as much as the fiber box is. Although you do get the fun extras and the fun themes and all the research that comes with the uh, subscription boxes. And that's why I will continue to keep getting these boxes because I like the fun and I am a person that really struggles with too much selection. So having these things given to me and having it narrow down is really super helpful to me. So that is why even though I don't think price-wise per fiber that this is well worth it, I do think that just having direction in your crafting is a super helpful place uh, for this box and why I will continue to keep subscribing to Paradise Fibers. One more thing I kind of have to rag on Paradise Fibers for. As a crocheter and mainly crocheter who just picked up knitting at the very end of last year, this again had stitch markers and not progress keepers. I would really like them to venture out because a lot of these things would be really easy to make into progress keepers that could also double as stitch markers. So. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed that, once again, the stitch markers in this box were, like, I guess, exclusive to knitting. They're, they really can't be used for crochet progress keepers. Just like the Christmas box, they could not be used as uh, progress keepers for the crochet world, you know. I guess maybe I'm the only crocheter that also spins out there, but I, I like to think that I'm not alone in this world and that other people do actually crochet with their spinning. Anyways guys, that's going to be all for this month's unboxing. I hope you will join us next month for the March box, Paradise Fiber box, which will be my 12th box, I think, because I started last year in April. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you would hook the like button and subscribe. Talk to you later, guys.